congratulations on surviving your first week. But this competition is just beginning. Only one of you will walk away with $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. This week, we have a very special guest judge. Best known for his role as Al Seed on HBO's True Blood, and he also wrote a book on getting the perfectly sculpted body, Joe Manganiello. Tattoo culture is fascinating to me. People get tattoos to enhance their physical appearance. I spend a lot of time being judged for how I look with my clothes off. I plan to judge these artists on whether or not they're able to accentuate and complement the body. And if they don't, I'm here to call them out. Joe Manganiello is such a sexy beast. Werewolf, vampire, I don't care what you are, just come home with me. <laughs> this week we're testing your artistry. Artistry is the ability to make art look good. You could have the best applied tattoo ever, but if it doesn't look good, it's still crap. We begin with a flash challenge, a skills test that will give the winner an advantage in the elimination tattoo. Today, you must bring a pinup to life. Let's meet your models. Oh. What? There you go. That'll do it. Oh my goodness. They are butt ass naked. This is insane. This challenge is going to be crazy. I love making models. <laughs> Using temp to airbrush makeup, you must show artistry by painting realistic clothing onto your model that perfectly complements her form. I have no experience with pinup models, especially full body. I have no experience in airbrushing in general. It's just not good. Your models have been randomly assigned. And each of them has a prop that will serve as inspiration for your pinup. This whole flash challenge went from really naked to really nerve wracking. What I'm scared of is making this naked woman look like a pinup with a theme. You have three hours to create a real life pinup that illustrates your artistry. And your time starts now. <laughs> 